Mr. Paul Wilson. On behalf of the 130 plus District 6 Pontiac citizens who signed petitions about the council's agenda item regarding rezoning the Mark Twain school site from R1 to R3, there are several conditions which we collectively are challenging. Number one, the council proceeded with the vote even though the posted agenda for this item contain the misleading statement, the planning division is requesting to postpone adoption of this agenda, of this ordinance. Since the vote was taken away, it is not clear what was the intention of such notions unless it was intentionally put there to deceive citizens who had planned to come to protest the action and to thinking that the matter would not be taken up at this meeting. Number two, although I have repeatedly informed and supplied the city clerk with petitions, he has refused to conduct an official review of the petitions and to give an official notice of their legitimacy. All we have received are casual non-committal responses which we challenge as being inadequate and inappropriate. Lastly, moreover, the citizens who signed the petitions are aggravated that their input and concerns about passage of this item were ignored and that this display of disrespect to this established neighborhood community is disappointing and harmful to their peaceful enjoyment of their properties. Lastly, we trust that this administration and its elected officials of the council will reconsider their stance on this project and rectify the disruption that would be caused to our neighborhood by continually pursuing this project. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Ms. Renee uh, Beckley. I'm not going to be nice at all, so get ready. You wandered in a place where I live. You came in my neighborhood. You and then William, you're weak. You're weak for a man because you could have told the rest of them, no, don't put a vote for this way. I know Melanie's wild as all get out, so she's going to do whatever she wanted to do, but you could have got the rest of these men. Um, you know, but they're not man enough to realize that somebody lives there. Do they want to hear a plant across the street and behind them? That's a factory. A factory. I know what a fac you know, factory is. Make uh, electric batteries. Those things are explosive. The bicycles explode. They, you can't get on an airplane with a, a, that type of battery. No, a train, anyway. They have to specially have a special way to transport those types of batteries. And you're going to put that in the middle of the neighborhood. I have no respect for this council. I have, what is it, what the police say, no... Uh, Something for the chief. Oh, I forgot what it was. No confidence in you. No confidence in the mayor. I think there's something going on with that funder, between the funder and this person with the company. I get no hits. I have, seen, I have not seen a website on this company. I pulled it up, our code or something. I have the correct spelling at home. Nothing. Is this a dummy company for you just to get the money? Is something going on with this council? If you live in other districts, don't vote for your council, your present council person, because they're going around the city. There's also something going on with them and the school board. Everywhere there's a school. They just did one to the um, night. Webster School, they're going to shut down one lane in 59. They did something in my neighborhood. That's a school. Mark Twain. 
So Mike and William Bo came from the school board. Gil Garrett's the president. Is they helping him out dumping stuff? Garbage. Just plain garbage that we don't want. Do we have to really sue? There's a lot of lawsuits. I'd like to pull one on y'all. I think I will. Just for this. So you add another one. You tell with each individual ones that voted for that. Last week, we, we, we had 100-something people. That should be enough. Mr. Dog, what you did was gank. It means, you know, that, that was something like back in the South. How many bars is, uh, bubbles in this bar of soap? How fast can you walk up the Empire State Building? You did something equivalent to that. We got the signatures. We don't have, and most of those people is either a landlord or nobody lives there. Where the streets that you had, you just arbitrarily picked that. I never seen a petition like that in my life. It's usually the registered voters that live there in the neighborhood. Oh, thank you, Ms. Beckley. Ms. Carol Wilson. I just want you to know I'm very sad. <clears throat> I'm sad for this neighborhood that I've lived and my parents lived in since 63. You say this factory is going to bring jobs, and I asked the lady, how many jobs are you going to bring? Fifteen. Fifteen. We're going to build a big old plant so we can hire 15 people. And then she said, oh, it might go up to 30. We're going to build a big old plant so we can hire 30 people. I'm sad that you would do something like that so we can hire 30 people, 15 at the start. Where are we going to get to 30? Oh, it said going to be 200. Down the line. Down the line. And you're going to listen to that? Yes, me and my husband went all over this neighborhood. Because it's our neighborhood. We went all over the neighborhood. We talked to black people. We talked to white people that lived in there. We talked to Spanish people down the street that lives from me. She said, no, we don't want that. So who people are you talking to? Who are the people are you talking to? Are they here? I want to hear from them. I want to hear from them. The only people I've heard so far that you've talked to are out of our district. They're out of our district. You mean the people out of our district is going to tell you how you're going to run what you want in your district. And you're not going to stand up and say, when they said no, when they talk, had the discussion, and you know the people don't want it, and then you tell us, we're, I'm going to vote no, then why don't you step up and tell them we don't want it? Instead of just sitting back and let the vote just vote it out. The people out of our district. We need to talk for our people in our district like we've been doing, like we've been doing. And we've been running all over our district to see what the people want. And the people said no. So who are you listening to? It hurts my heart. And it hurts this district heart. Mm -hmm. We look, we went over the district. Who are the people you listen? We saw boarded up houses that you say that people wanted in our district. Their house is boarded up. What do they care about the nose? 
Your time has concluded. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. Ms. Iola Miller. Good evening, Iola Miller. I live on Pensacola Avenue in Pontiac, Michigan. <clears throat> well, I, I didn't have a lot. I first wanted to say I was so excited to see the uh, street sweepers come down my street. And they did a really great job. They not only, you know, loosened up the dirt, they came back and picked up the leaves. And my question is, is that um, are we as residents supposed to put our leaves on the street now that the street sweepers are coming down? I know it's...